sunlight falls Hello, welcome to another vlog. My name is Kendall K. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new or welcome back, I'll just pick up the camera and just start off a new vlog for you. It is Friday, so we're about to head into the weekend. I'm feeling a little uninspired with creating content lately. I think it's just because I'm like really in my routine. Sometimes when your days all look the same, there's like a lack of spark, a lack of motivation, inspiration, all that. So I haven't been creating much TikToks or Instagram content. But the thing I like about YouTube is that it doesn't take as much motivation or inspiration for me to just pick up the camera and start vlogging because I feel like I just can be myself. I don't have to curate a bunch of things in order to create a vlog. I just get to show you my life as it is. Hopefully, Luke and I get up to something exciting this weekend. Luke is my boyfriend. If you're new here, we live together in Puerto Rico. Hopefully, we can get out and about this weekend and do some fun things. We both are just so in our in our routine right now, and which we love, but I think we could use some spice in our life. I'm making him some breakfast right now. I've been doing a flat iron steak and eggs for him. This is about a half pound flat iron steak, and I just sear it on each side for a few minutes with some ghee. I'm going to do some Himalayan salt and pepper. And there we have it. Some steak and eggs for Luke. Our weekly order just arrived from Cabo Rojo Steaks. We've got some filet mignon, some mignon tips, some burgers, more mignon tips, and some meatballs. This is my little workstation this morning. I've been planning my day and doing some admin stuff. I think it's time for a workout. I downloaded a form workout. I'm just doing a 20, I think it's a 20 minute Pilates booty and abs because I'm pretty sore, so I don't wanna do any weights today. And, and then I also downloaded a, a yoga flow for afterwards. The last past few days I've been doing like a 15 minute yoga flow after my workout and it's so calming and just feels amazing. It has started pouring in the past five minutes while I was setting everything up. So I'm gonna do the workout under this little awning here. And I brought a little candle out here to set the vibes. It's, now all of a sudden it's like cozy candle with Pilates vibes. Exhale, let it all go. segue for me to have some lunch because it's so good to eat when your nervous system is all calm so i have some chicken salad that i made last night i did some green bell peppers with mustard turkey slices pickles and some spices on top oh and i added some sprouts to the chicken salad wow that tastes incredible look at the crazy storm outside I'm getting a little chilly. I think I'm gonna put a little sweatshirt on and maybe bake some cookies. That's like such a fun rainy day activity. I've got a big comfy jacket on. I haven't worn this this jacket since like winter, but it's just a cozy day today. I think baking is one of my favorite activities of all time. I just love being in the kitchen. And for some reason, baking is like way more fun than like cooking. Although I do love cooking also. I cook a lot. I just preheated the oven to 350 and then I'm gonna do an almond cow recipe because I have some leftover almond, almond cow pulp from making my homemade nut milk. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Sounds so good. I've got this little candle burning right here. It smells like coconuts. 
we haven't gotten much rain much, so it feels really nice and cozy to have the rain today. Whenever a recipe calls for butter, I usually substitute it for coconut oil, and it always works out fine. I like coconut oil because it's dairy free and it's actually like really good for you. It has like antibacterial properties. It's a healthy fat. Whereas butter, like I don't even know what they do to dairy these days. It's like scary. I also love using gluten free flours. Just not a big fan of gluten in general. And there's so many amazing flour options out there. Like oat flour, plantain flour, green banana flour, almond flour, coconut flour. You just have to make sure you're doing the right substitutions. It usually turns out pretty good. I think one of my least favorite chores is washing my sheets, but not necessarily the washing part, but the putting them back on the bed part especially the duvet cover that's my least favorite thing that's what i'm doing right now i just pulled these out of the dryer and it's time to make the bed it's worth it though because clean sheets are unmatched there's no better feeling than fresh sheets i wash my sheets every two weeks I'm gonna put a podcast on. She's a lifestyle blogger extraordinaire. Uh, 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 want to learn? This, this is my still You're looking for, to have a job with you. I've just got some packages. Ordered these little match holders. They're like baby pink with this sandy material. And I got a package from Caudalie. Caudalie. Skincare brand that you, that you might recognize. I feel like they're a bit totally like booming on social media right now. Wow, I've heard really good things about this brand and these products. Anytime I get gifted skincare, I love to first see which products are like, called my spores and which ones are non comedogenic. So I'm gonna do that right now because I'm really excited. I use this website called ClearSem and they have a pour clogging ingredients list and you can just copy and paste. I was on the Cardelite website searching up each product and then I copy and paste the ingredients list into this box and you can check to see if there's any pour clogging ingredients. This one is all good but they have a full list of everything that will clog your pores. If you're acne prone, I check every single thing I put on my face, I put it through this list. And I feel like it's really helped me. Like I think one of the reasons I struggled with acne so much before is because I was using so many things on my face that had poor clogging ingredients and I had no idea. Like even things that says it's meant for acne oftentimes has poor clogging ingredients in it. Even like makeup I was using, like a lot of like Charlotte Tilbury products have poor clogging ingredients. So just be careful if you struggle with acne. I highly recommend looking into your products to see if they have any pore cloggers in there. Also, I check even my hair care products because when I'm sleeping, my hair will get on my face and my pillow and can cause me a breakout too. So I looked through all the Caudalie products and good news, like 80% of the ones they sent me are safe for me to use. Like this foaming cleanser, this beauty elixir spray, this rich cream, this instant firming serum, I feel like skincare can be like really overwhelming, but I really just start to try to have a very simple routine and slowly, slowly build on top of it. And any time that my skin starts to break out, I'll just go back to my simple routine that I have set. So I'll probably will only incorporate these products one at a time and see how my skin is reacting to them. It's kind of like a trial and error like experiment. Let me know if I should do like, if you guys think I should do like a giveaway, because I do get a lot of the gifted products. And I obviously can't use it all, so maybe I could do like a giveaway for you guys if you're interested in that. That could be fun. Can you hear a little Friday night drink? Oh, look at that. You're so smart, babe. Oh, Got it. There she goes. Look at this mango salsa I made. Oh, oh. Your drink kind of goes with the, the theme of the dinner tonight. What's the theme? 
tropical. It's a vibe. Because your drink is, isn't it, isn't that like a tropical fruit rum or something? Yeah, it is. It's, it's a local fruit in Puerto Rico. These are looking so beautiful. But it's so good with it. Oh, thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Whoa, shut up. Are you kidding? Is that purpose? <laughs> no. You literally looked like you were doing that on purpose just to bother me. <laughs> So for dinner tonight, I made cilantro lime rice, a mango salsa, and seared tuna. I also made Luca Filipinion because he just likes his red meat. You know how you know how those men are with their red meat. I think I loved you. I meditated in the sun this morning and read with my bone broth and I had my little chia drink and now I'm having my breakfast. Saturdays are like no different for me than any other day. I don't like work for anybody so my weekends are kind of very similar to my weekdays and since Luke runs his own business, he, his weekends are no different from his weekdays either because he works just as much on the weekend as he does on the weekday. The only difference is he doesn't have meetings on the weekend, so the house is usually a bit quieter. But since he works on the weekends, I tend to fall into my same routine that I do during the week. Luke and I are at this little sushi place, and we got some pho and some sake. Do you want to pour us some, babe? Whoa, they made it hot. It's hot. And we got some sashimi, a lot of it. Like, look at that. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Good morning. It is Sunday. I've just woken up, and I'm going straight into skincare this morning because I woke up with two massive pimples and so I just kind of wanted to get things rolling and wash my face and just like feel clean. I'm trying to pinpoint what caused me to break out. There could be a few things. It could be the new Caudalie cream that I tried last night which would make me really sad because I really love it. It's this one. It's the rich cream. I'm also thinking it could maybe be from having dairy. I had Greek yogurt yesterday as a snack and then I also had some of Luke's frozen yogurt after dinner. Another thing it could be is hormones. I feel like my hormones for the past few days have been out of whack and that could explain like my low mood and I had like a total like meltdown last night too which felt very hormonal. Could be that, something could be out of balance. Not sure, but something is not right. Yesterday, Luke used the camera for, he used this camera to film some content. So I wasn't really able to vlog much yesterday. You guys saw my morning and then at night we just did like a super casual sushi night. And then we came home. It was like late at night when we came home. It was probably like, it was like 9 p.m. So I was like pretty tired and I was like, dang, I have to like strain and bottle the bone broth, which it just kind of takes a lot of energy. And so I went to pour the bone broth into a bottle and I guess I just wasn't paying you well enough attention because the bone broth, it's like piping hot, right? Because I just took it off the stove. It splashed on my hand, which was holding up the bowl and it was so burning hot that I dropped the bowl and like literally liters of bone broth is like all over the kitchen, like all over the stove, all over the counter, all over the floors. It like splashed over into the dining room. Like it was so mad. Blue heard all the commotion because I screamed. I screamed because it burnt my hand. And so he came up and he was helping me clean up and we had like all these towels everywhere and it was like such a mess and I had a full meltdown because I was like just upset. I just felt like I was downward spiraling and it was getting so bad. 
And I was just really upset because I used to have like kind of bad mood problems like that. And I feel like the past few months have been so good. Like I thought I was over it. I thought that I had like healed my like mood problems. And then the past few days have just been really bad. It just makes me feel down. But this self-care is making me feel good. I also spilled a phone drop on my phone yesterday. So I had it sitting in this rice all night. And then it's like now there's like a piece of rice like stuck in, in the phone. And it's dead. And my computer's dead. This is all the bone broth that was left after it all spilled. I started to list out things that were making that I felt like were triggering negative moods for me and then I also made a list of things that triggered a positive mood for me and I feel like it's really helping because I'm just becoming more aware of things that trigger me and then I'm choosing to do things that I know will create a more positive mood for myself. I remember doing this I think last time I always felt like I was kind of in a rut and it always helps, it always helps. If you're feeling like you're in a rut or you're like having a bad day or something, make a list of things that make you happy and make a list of things that you know trigger a bad mood. Like for example, I wrote that spiking my blood sugar, mindless snacking, scrolling on social media, like all those things like trigger a negative downward spiral for me. And then things that trigger a positive mood for me, I wrote matcha, tea, tidying and cleaning, self-care slash skincare, creating content, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube, walking in nature, meditation, being in natural light, making thoughtful balanced meals, doing guided workouts. So for the past like bit, I've just been cleaning and tidying the house because I know that that always makes me feel better. And now I'm gonna make a matcha. So we're just going through the list of things that make me happy. I got my workout set on and never had to do a workout, which is another thing on my list of things that improves my mood. I actually started doing a new workout app just because I wanted, I just wanted to switch things up. I wanted to see what else was out there. I love Sandy Clark's app. Uh, I just feel like I had done every single workout on there and I was just wanting something new. Someone asked me to do a review on her app and i really do love it i love how she incorporates weights into her workouts i feel like i've really gotten stronger in the past year from doing her workouts like my muscle my muscles are showing more than they have in my whole life and i feel like that in turn increases your metabolism which just helps every function of the body like burns more body fat increases energy like having a bit of muscle mass i think is like key to a good physique and so i feel like her workouts really target that without being like overly obsessed gym girl like i don't want to be a gym rat that's not my like personal journey i love doing like just gu i love doing guided workouts and i feel like she just has the perfect mix of pilates but also strength training i'm currently using sane valette's app because I follow her on, on social media and I just really love her vibe. It's called the Soul Sync Body app. So far, I feel like I like Sani's a little more, but I've just, I've only done one workout on Sani. It just, it's more expensive and it just doesn't seem like it's as well, her app is not quite as well done as Sani's. And I know Sami has a personal training license and I don't know if Sani does or not. So I don't know if she's like as legit or not. It's pretty similar definitely similar she has also like nutrition on here as well but i feel like the interface of the of the form app is a bit better but it's still like very aesthetic and the music is really good and it's nice to have someone on the screen that you like know and are like familiar with like having like sonai violet like having like sonai on here like telling me guiding me through my workout is like really motivating and that's also what I liked about the form app because I follow Sammy and really love up to her. So having her guide me through a workout is like really motivating for me. So yeah, they're both good options if you're looking for a good at-home workout app that will help you stay motivated and toned 
and fit. So today I'm gonna do a 30 minute leg and booty strength workout. Which I haven't played in, I think I played in sixth grade. And I remember being really good, so. I think, hey, I'm at dunk on I you. think Luke's in for a treat. <laughs> Luke forgot the basketball. Well, I guess you're going back. Well, looks like we're going for a spin again. Okay. <laughs> just got back from playing basketball with Luke. It was so fun. We were just kind of like shooting around on the on the court and it was so fun to be out in nature and just like be totally present. I feel like I was like smiling the whole time. It was like so, just so nice to spend time together and just play around. I feel like I was missing that element in my life. I was like missing the element of play. And I see why people do sports because it's like so fun to like literally just play while also getting some physical movement in. But I just took a shower and now I'm doing some skincare. I'm trying out a new product today. It's this Mario Badescu, Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Dew Drops. And it's basically like a hyaluronic serum, but it's got some aloe in here and niacinamide and some other stuff. It doesn't have any pore clogger, so hopefully my skin likes it. I love to use some sort of hyaluronic serum just because I have really dry skin naturally. And pro tip, if you miss your face before you put hyaluronic acid on it, it absorbs even more water into your skin. And then I'm going to try a new eye cream too because my last one ran out. It's this Drunk Elephant one. I love Drunk Elephant's packaging. It's so fun. And they're a great skincare brand if you don't have acne prone skin. Then I'm going to do some niacinamide serum, which I also use every day. I just use the one from The Ordinary because it's really worked for me. Then I was just putting this Mario Badescu seaweed night cream on my body. Then we're going to top everything off with this rich cream from Carlyle. And this is the stuff that I can't tell is breaking me out or not. So we'll see if I wake up with more pimples tomorrow or not. But it does feel so moisturizing on my skin. And my hands can use some love as well. When do you want to eat dinner? You're ready now. You ready? I just finished up dinner. I made some chili and Luke likes some rice with his chili so I made up some rice then I cooked up some beef meatballs to add because Luke needs to get his daily beef in and then I made some dessert that I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up it's a maple blueberry oat loaf and it looks so good Luke and I have just been vibing we call it passive hanging out when we're both doing something else, but we're in the same room. How early, how much earlier would you say you wake up than me? An average probably like 40 minutes. Luke wakes up like 40 minutes before me every morning and he goes on his, he works on his phone while I'm sleeping because instead of getting up and then going to his office because him being in bed with me, he feels like he's like hanging out with me even though I'm asleep. And he calls it passive hanging out. And I guess it's fulfilling to a certain extent. You're not alone, but you're still being productive. There it is, my perfect bowl of chili with one meatball and some green onions on top. This is my bowl, hefty. There's about seven meatballs in here. And he's got a layer of rice underneath. Oh, this is like some Tulum music. Phenomenal. Really good job. 